what did your mother do wrong in the relationship with you know, your father that irritated him so much? She had to be doing something. He didn't just wake up every morning and decide, let me beat this woman for no reason. Well, he wasn't beating Not her. Not that he beat her, we, we, yeah, yeah, but, but being what you call abuse. Well, no, what, my father. What did she do wrong in the relationship? I mean, I don't know what she, like, look, I, I was a child. I mean, I, don't, I wasn't there when they met. <laughs> you know, I wasn't even thought of at that time. So I can't really speak to that. But as I've, you know, I made the film, I have the podcast, I've been learning and reconnecting with different family members, not my immediate family necessarily, but ancillary people around the family, and finding little things out about, you know, my parents met when they were in high school. Uh, you, you know, I think that my father exhibited a lot of traits of a narcissist. You know, I, uh, but my mother just tolerated it for whatever reason. Well, what did she do wrong in relationship to, to irritate him so much? Well, it could have been, I mean, I, I don't, again, I wasn't really there, but I think that. But I you think would that, hear him yelling at her. I think her. that, I think that. What would he yeah, yell at her about? Think like what? Because he didn't get his way. Because my father, as all narcissists do, want to have their cake and eat it too. He wanted to be able to have multiple affairs. No, but what did your mother do wrong in the relationship with your father? Because she wouldn't allow him to do that. She wouldn't allow him to what eat his cake. What other things that she would do that would irritate him? Probably her closeness with me, I'm sure. Was he wrong for being irritated that she would turn you away from him? My mother never turned me away from him. If you were that close to her, that is a turning away from yeah, but my mother That's wasn't. Was my mother wasn't. My mother wasn't her. disparaging. Was she right for turning you away from him? But my mother wasn't disparaging of my father until my father showed his true colors to me six months before he killed her. Like I never knew. I could see my father's behavior, but my mother would always just say, "Well, you know, he'll be fine," or "Daddy loves you." It's, it's just he's having a moment or whatever. Like most women that are in abusive relationships do. To, to, to placate things for their children. So was she right for turning him, you know, bringing you so close to her rather than making you be close to your father rather than her? My father was didn't have- Was she right for that? My, so my, my mother brought me close because my father didn't want anything to do with me a lot of times. But apparently he did if he was saying that. I don't want well, you to just go to this woman because you start acting like her, you won't be a, a boy like you should. Was she right? And, the, for and doing a lot that? of those things, and a lot of those things happened towards the end when they were getting the divorce. He would say these things to me, but my father, you know, my relationship with my father would be, you know, he wasn't around a lot. We would go on ski trips together uh, a lot of times. Uh, sometimes my mother would come, sometimes not, and I would go with him on his rounds to the hospital and to go see his patients. And like my father, like I said, we grew up in a small town in Ohio, so we would go to like Amish country and he had patients that were Amish, so I'd go and see Amish, how the Amish live, which is fascinating. But, you know, my, my parents were, like let's say we all went out to dinner, right, with friends. We would come home and then my father would leave. Because my father was always, always saying, oh, I'm on call, he had a beeper, oh, I've gotta go, but I just thought he was working and didn't want to be around us. He, or not, not to, I thought he was working and didn't want to, and not necessarily didn't want to be around us. But it was, what, it, what, what was the case is that my father was having affairs with multiple women. So really he was using that excuse to go and go on a date with other women. How do you know your mother told you that, right? No. Who told you I that? I found all of this out afterwards. So what did your mother do wrong? What would your mother do that would irritate you as a kid? You wish you didn't do or had done? Or well, my mother was very- Concerned in the two of you. Well, my mother was very strict. And, you know, my mother, like I said, education was a big deal in my household. So I was always going to school and I would, you know, but I also loved to learn. But my mother was strict with me, sure. You, um- She made me wear penny loafers. So that- that maybe was probably the thing that you were saying. Was your father right in not wanting... And the bowl want, cut, too. The bowl cut didn't like that either. Was he right in not wanting you to be so close to her because of the effect that it would have on you? Was he right about that? I mean, I'm the person that I am today because of my mother. 
And my mother had to wear both hats because my father wasn't around. So my mother, who was German-Irish, and my grandfather, her father, was very, very strict growing up with her. So she sort of used that strictness that my father should have had on me. She was that person. So that was annoying in a way, if you're saying the things that my mother would bother me, is that she was the disciplinarian in the household with me because my yeah. father wasn't there. And a lot of times I think that maybe something that could have been a, a point of um, contention or, or something that may have affected their relationships is that my father may have come in a lot of times as the good time guy where like, oh, okay, we're going to go skiing. He wasn't there for like the nitty gritty, do your homework, call your, go to bed at eight o'clock, the disciplinary stuff, turn off the television, you need to do this, whatever that is, right? So I think that that may have annoyed my mother. But my mother's annoyance with him was that my father wasn't allowed to get away with all the stuff that she had let him get away with for years before. So I'm asking though, know, was your father right in not wanting you to be so close to her because it wasn't good for you? Oh, I, I think that's wrong because I think it was ultimately very good that I was very close to my mother in this situation. Is, is it good to have your mother's identity or your father's identity? In my, case, in my case, it would be good that I have my mother's identity. And so the one thing that she did wrong was she was too disciplinary with you? I wouldn't say straight. that's wrong, though. I think if you're trying to, it's not, it's not a black and white sort of thing. It's not, it's not one way or the other. It's, there's a lot of gray area with that. It's not, I wouldn't say it was wrong, like that's wrong. I would say that it was challenging having a mother who was, like many people are raised in single parent households, right? But right. I wasn't in a single parent household. Right. But I think that, the role that my mother had to play was that of my mother and my father. So, well, because my father wasn't around. So do I think that's right or wrong? I mean, I think that ultimately, I think it was right because I like the person that I've turned out to be. Should boys grow up close to their mothers like that though? I mean, that's just such a generalized term or just a general statement. I don't know if, if, if men should grow up to, I think men should, I think ideally in a utopian society, both parents should be in the household and should be of active course. in the child's life. And the purpose of that so the father can keep the children away from the father, I mean from the mother, so that they don't become like the mother, emotional, in imagination and all that crap. It, it, it destroyed the boys and the girls because you become like what you hate. And so that's why I'm asking, was your father wrong in not wanting you to be that close to her? Yeah, but my father was, I mean, my father was wrong in that because my father was not exactly an exemplary individual. If my father was a strong presence and a good, honest person with integrity that led, led his life that way, he would have been, he would have been right in feeling that way. Was but in mother? this case, my father was not an example of a good, honest person that led his life with integrity and intent of purpose. He wasn't. So my mother had to do that and had to teach me that. Was so your my, so, so, but my situation person? is very different than many other people. Was she an exemplary person? In a lot of ways, yes, but she was so, still flawed, like we all are. What was some of her flaw? Example her flaw? Well, I mean, I think in the end, toward, you know, when the divorce was happening, she was having an affair at the same time that my father was having an affair. After, after that, after they were getting a divorce, which ultimately was not good for her. I think, but I didn't, again, I didn't know about all of this until She didn't tell you that she was having an affair? No, because it happened so, it, well, first of all, I didn't know uh, because I was 11. Like, I'm not suspicious of those things. I wasn't seeing people coming over to the house. But I do know that she had an affair with, a, with her, one, of, one of our family's friends towards the very end of her life. Amazing. Um, and so, was he, was he wrong? for not wanting you to be so close to her, knowing the effect it would have on you? I mean, was he, I mean, no. I mean, I, I think it like, I mean, it, it, he, he wouldn't have been wrong in, the, in a situation where if he was leading by example and being a, a good person, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Am I? Was your mother a good person? My mother was a good person. My mother There's was no such thing person. as a good person. 
There's no such thing as a good person? Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because the heart of mankind is wicked, and they always have a hidden agenda. And it's always about themselves, even with your father and your mother, it's always about themselves and never about the other person because that's what egos are. The nature of the ego, which is of the devil, is always about self. It's never about the children. It's never about the husband and wife don't care for each other. It's always something they're trying to get for themselves. One example, when your mother drew you so close to her, mm -hmm. instead of not doing that to you, it was about her. It wasn't even about you. It was about her and not about your father. Your father has his thing. It was about her. It was about him. He would be easy that way until their heart changed from anger to love. Um, um, so you don't, I'm not clear if you understand that you. And I'm not, and look, I'm not trying to be prevaricative at all. I'm just, I, I, but my case, my, my upbringing is so extreme. Like I can't, I don't want to say that, I mean, I can't, I, I can't say, it's not that I don't want to say, I can't say that if my father had had his way, my father didn't have any interest in me. I literally asked my father in the film, did you want to have a child? And he goes, well, of course. But my understanding is growing up is my father didn't want to have a child. Did you treat him the way your mother treated him? No, I was afraid of my father. <laughs> I certainly did. And my mother didn't treat him. My mother was afraid of my father. Is it possible that they had more going on, that she was more difficult, more difficult to him than you can imagine? And that's why, which doesn't make it right, but that's why he wasn't around a lot. He was still away from her because he couldn't deal with her. She appeared to be nice with you and other people, but with, between the two of them, it was hell to pay. Is uh, that possible? I, I, it could be, but Have one you, of the things that I, that I explored to really try to find out the core of what you're saying, when I, when I was making the film was to find out, like, how my father behaved with my mother when they were younger. And I found out that my father had always cheated on my mother long before they were married. Then my, my father's sister told me about this particular interest, uh, instance. instance. And you shouldn't believe what women tell you about men. Even the mothers don't tell the truth about the fathers. I shouldn't believe about a story that my, that my, <laughs> my aunt, yeah. my father's sister, right. told me. Yeah. Why would I disbelieve her? Because women don't tell the truth. I don't necessarily believe that. No, they don't. Okay. <laughs> it's not in them to tell the truth. They'll tell you... Is it in men to tell the truth? Not as much now as it used to be, when, it, when boys were boys and men were men. That feels very anachronistic but, to me, but I don't... But men don't tell the truth because they have the mother's nature. They don't tell the truth either, for the most part. But let me ask... Um, but do you believe that, I, because you're looking at somebody who is essentially a product of their mother. Yeah, and I'm for sorry good reason, that too. And for good reason. And for me, you know, my mother, was she perfect? Absolutely not. Was my father perfect? Uh, cl clearly not. Give me an example. One other thing that we got to move on here. What was imperfect about your mother other than she was a little tough on you? What was imperfect about her? Well, I think, I think in a lot of ways she stayed in an abusive marriage. No, what was imperfect about her? That she chose to stay around someone who ultimately took her life do and endangered think, her child's life even. Do you think she loved irritating him? That's why she stayed? She got life from that? No, I think that she was just caught up in it like people do. People get uh, caught up in it. Oh. Uh.